In this class, you will learn about creating scenes using cameras from the user's point of view. You can manage camera lenses, the field of view, and clip planes using cameras in AutoCAD. Open the Cameras file located in the Course Files. Let's learn about the concept. The distance between the middle of the lens is known as the focal distance. The field of view is the angle and refers to everything that can be seen in the lens. The default focal distance of a camera is 50 mm. When the focal distance of the lens is under 50 mm, it distorts the view and it is considered as wide angle. Lenses that are longer than 50 mm are considered as super telephoto lenses and are like a telescope. In the following example, the following lens lengths and adjustments were used 15, 35, 50, and 300 mm for the same scene. Field of view is calculated from the angle and it is directly related to the focal distance, so the closer the focal distance, the wider the field of view will be. After that, we will insert two cameras. You place the camera according to the desired target. The position of the camera is based on coordinates related to the target. Click Create Camera on the Render tab Camera panel when AutoCAD requests the data on the location followed by the target. After defining these things, the command provides such options as Camera Option, Name, Location, Height, Target, Lens, Clip Plane, Current View, and conclude the command. Repeat the command to insert another camera. Notice the camera location, as well as the target, are based on the X, Y, and Z coordinate planes. Now the cameras are already placed. Enable these properties and view some of their parameters. Enable properties on the View tab Palettes panel and select one of the cameras. You can see a preview of the image from several points of view. You can also see a Camera Properties palette with several kinds of data such as Location, Target, Lens, Clip Plane and others. After clicking on the camera icon, you will see the grips. Roll the mouse cursor over them to identify them. Use the grips to change the camera properties, but we recommend using the Properties palette for more precise adjustment. You can insert several cameras in your AutoCAD drawing and try to always save the cameras using different names to facilitate identification. Enable the View Manager on the View tab Views panel. This screen will display a list of camera options saved in the drawing. You can even edit some parameters. You learned about viewing through cameras and their properties have been defined based on location, target and lens. In the next classes you will learn more about this extremely interesting resource in AutoCAD 2010.